Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing. Today I thought I would play around with some mailing envelopes. I did a couple of these um, on my own. I didn't film it because they were the first ones I did, but I thought I would just go for it here. I didn't make an actual prototype for these envelopes, but I really like these big window envelope. So we're going to just play out, play around. I don't know how long it's going to take me. I might have to split the video in two. Uh, we'll just kind of see how it goes because again, I haven't done this before. So, um, or I did it, but yeah, it was my first time and it went okay, but not fantastic. So I picked a couple of digital papers. This is, I believe this is from my porch prints and I don't know off the top of my head where this is from, but I'll be sure to link them in the uh, supply list. So what I plan to do with these envelopes is I'm going to use, I'm going to um, take both of them, even though they're different sizes, and I'm going to fold up this bottom section so that it's right below the window, if you can see that. And then the same with this one. So one is going to be longer than the other, which is fine. Um, but that's what we're going to try to do. Again, um, try is the optimal word here. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is do some collaging around the window. I'm just going to collage the whole piece. Um, and I'm actually going to collage. I know typically you would not collage at your fold line because it creates some bulk, but because the paper is thin and the envelopes are fragile and thin, I'm going to go ahead and just collage the whole thing. So let me start with this one. And um, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and put this on. Wow, look at that. I tore the edges off of that and it is almost perfect. That is crazy. Almost perfect, not quite. So I'm going to get my pencil here. Let me get in screen here, guys. Sorry about that. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to go clear over to here. And then I'm going to go... Um, I think I'm going to go to here. Oh, that's not going to work. Hold on. Um, actually, let me just cut this one straight up the center. I'm going to erase that mark just in case I, I don't want that to show later. I'm not going to use that mark. So I asked for your patience as I do this live, so to speak, uh, without being completely prepared. So there we go. Let's set that aside and see. The, the, the thing I'm going for is I want to do as big of a piece as I can. So I thought I could go kind of around that window on that side. So that's kind of what I'm after here. So to go down this way and then um, Kind of get in an idea where the window is just sort of um, let me just scoot that over so i can actually see that window this is the part that i struggle with because i don't really do well with um, measuring and things like that so this is definitely um, a challenge so so what we're going to do is we're going to bring this down and we're going to cut it from that point down to this point here where I made that mark. So let me see. I need to turn this though. I don't have enough room to work. Hold on, guys. Now I lost my marks. <laughs> oh, I'm a little out of it today. I don't know why. I guess I'm just feeling a little bit lazy and unmotivated. Uh, where did my marks go? There's one. Oh, lordy. Oh, there we go. It's going to be. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh boy. So we're just going to go here and then we're just going to go over a tad. If I have to trim it up some more, I will, but it's just kind of hard to see that angle. And then we were going to go to here and there's probably a better, easier way to do this, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to try it. What's the worst that can happen? I think the worst that can happen is that we don't try at all, right? Where's my other mark? There it is. Oh, right, exact right spot. So, oh, that was not what I wanted. 
<laughs> oh lordy. Okay, we're gonna just have to cut it off at the middle point. I wasn't great at math and I was not great at like geometry and figuring out like how things should go, putting things together. Not my not my forte. So we're just gonna do this the easy way and put this big piece down here at the bottom. I do have a little bit of room here at the bottom, so I'm gonna, no I don't actually. Let me see if I can tear this without losing too much of my paper because I cut that straight edge and I don't want it to be straight. I want it to be torn, so let's see if we can do that. Not lose too much of it. Like so. So we're gonna put this one on, oops on here and then we'll just collage the rest of it it's okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get my art glitter glue out and my camera seems to be off let me move it just a little bit guys because I don't want to be off and again I don't have a zoom so I have to manually adjust the the arm of the um, the webcam here okay so I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges as I go as well because I like that look. I like how it makes it kind of look patchworky. Patchworky, that's not a word. So I'm really enjoying the summer, but some days just feel really lonely here in my house because my husband's working. You know, my kids have kids, but they're busy with their lives and and all that stuff so some days are just not all they're cracked up to be <laughs> for being home and having lots of you know free time um, not that I'm complaining because I'm very grateful but it's difficult at times so let's see here I made these envelopes before and what I didn't like was they still were fairly flimsy and I didn't like that they didn't have a lot of really strong structure so I'm hoping that by putting this whole sheet even where I'm going to fold it I might be able to have some more some more structure strength there we go going upright and we're just going to slide it on there and see if we can adjust it if we need to. I'll move it up a little bit hopefully. You can always ink the edges where where we're seeing the white and I want to make sure that I um, I preserve this pocket this side and I'll be um, I'll be gluing that or stitching it I'm not exactly sure yet probably gluing um, I haven't quite figured out the whole stitching thing on this kind of project. So, perfect. In fact, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and glue it right now just because um, there's no reason not to. So, let me just get a little bit of glue in here. Ah. my towel here. Get glue everywhere. Okay. There we go. That already feels structurally better than um, than what I was working with before and I am making sure that I'm covering up the edges of the window. I do have a little bit of a tear here so I want to make sure that I, I'm able to cover that up. So what do we want up here? I think maybe if I just put this on here like so, like it was supposed to be. <laughs> uh, that's what it was supposed to be. Um, but I'm not going to follow that. I'll just put another small piece there. But I'm thinking if I just use my tear ruler here, I might have better, better success. So let me line this up so that it's on that line so I know where the window is. process out loud here. So there's our line. It's I'm lining it up with this line here. So I'm just going to scooch it over just a little bit. Like 
So, see how close we got. Can't tell if that's crooked or not. It looks like it's crooked to me. This doesn't it look crooked? It is a little bit wider at the top, but that's okay. Not looking for perfection, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this one on. I love collaging, but for some reason there's it feels like I'm going to do something wrong and it's going to I'm going to spoil it, so I'm a little bit apprehensive here. I see it done all the time, but doing it myself is another matter entirely. So, that is a little bit crooked, but it's okay. And then what we'll do is we'll create like a tag or something to go in there into that window. So, I'm not sure what we're going to do yet, but We'll figure it out. So let's go ahead and again we're going to use my mat as a guide so that I know where my window is. And put that on there. And yep, it's just that first line. My husband has been saving all of the envelopes. I have so many now, I don't even know what to do with all of them. <laughs> and still I ask him for more. I'm like, don't throw them away, I still want them. Oh man, I forgot to ink that one. Doggone it. That's okay. It is okay. This is just a sample. This is an experiment. I wonder if I can get... Yeah, nope, I'm not going to be able to without affecting the window, I don't think. I don't want to affect the window. I wonder if I can slide something under there. Bear with me just a second, guys. I really want to get that inked. I think that might work. Just get a little bit of ink on the edges here. Kind of backwards way. There we go. That'll work, and I can grab, I can get this side, because it's open, and then I can get this side over here really quick. Maybe. <laughs> um, you know, I'm not going to worry about that, I'll overlap that, something over there, over that, rather. Okay. Let's see, so we had this piece that was going to go, was it going to go here? We don't need the whole thing though, do we? I kind of like it at that point, so I think I'm going to go ahead and tear it here. I think if I did this more, it would feel more natural, so I think I just need to practice, practice, practice. Yeah, I like that. Maybe it needs to go all the way up in the corner. I think so. Let's go ahead and glue that on. Because I tell myself there's no right or wrongs when you're creating. You're just create play. It's all about play. This is not a contest or anything else. It's just free play. Whoops, wrong way. I want that words up there if we're gonna overlap here. Oh, I've got to get it over that window though. Hmm. Shoot, that's not going to work because I need to bring it farther over. I think I can put it on this side though. Let's just do that. But now we're going to switch it because we got a rose there. Oh boy, if you're still watching, thank you. <laughs> this is kind of a kind of a mess. Um, I don't know if you know what I meant um, because I've got this curve here and I didn't get this piece up far enough. So I really need to have, I need to close that window a little bit. So that's kind of what I'm talking about there. Um, not going to be able to use that as a marker now because it's got glue on it. <laughs> so I'm just going to bring this over to about here and then tear. Let's see what we got here. That should work. Yeah, much better. I think it needs to go the other way though. Kind of like that torn edge there, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that. 
kind of looks kind of looks a little bit interesting sometimes I like the edges to be really raw and other times to be more like the the you know the the cuts you get or the tears you get with the tear ruler okay so let's glue this one on covers up that window really important there so beautiful Doo -doo. Um, let's go ahead and ink all around just because I don't want to forget in case I do something that I can't go back and do this so I love the inking um, you don't have to do that as you probably already know but it's nice and it also I had an overlap or uh, I had an edge of the envelope not covered. And so by inking, you can kind of conceal some of that stuff and nobody will ever know. So I love that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I do feel like I need to do something um, with this here so that it doesn't look so, um, so obvious. Well, we're going to decorate, so maybe we'll put something there uh, as we move along. So right now um, we've got. So there we've got our pocket. We've got our. Um, oops. We've got our pocket. I think I'd like to do a big journal card in here, as well. I'm just debating on whether or not I want to do um, a diff, completely different kind of um, element. Oh, this is kind of pretty though, with all the words. So maybe we'll do that and put it on some cardstock. It needs to be heavier. Um, so I'm gonna pause the camera real quick, guys, and grab something to put this um, paper on for a tag. Okay, thank you for your patience, guys. I just went ahead and grabbed a piece of um, coffee dyed paper, a digital, a digital print. Um, it's double printed, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and um, put this whole piece of paper on here and then I'll cut this down to the to how I want it to be when I'm done and I'm going to use my glue stick because I think I'm going to probably try to um, sew that so and the reason why I'm going to do this is because any overhang anything that I don't use I'll just add to my um, my scraps um, because it'll be really it'll be thick and durable and will make a great cluster or other kind of embellishments. So I'm not concerned about waste here in this case. So get this paper over here. I actually want it on this side because I want the other side to show. So let's just get that on there. And then we can decide what size we need this to be. So we actually need to measure because I want the, I want the, um, I want it to be able to show through this. I'm gonna have something show through this window. Boy, I really sound like I know what I'm doing, don't I? So that's about eight inches, but we lose a little bit here because of our gluing. So I think I'm gonna go um, like seven inches, um, seven inches long. So, and I want most of it most of what I want to have show is the letter or the words. So let's just do seven inches here. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that first. Having trouble thinking today, so I'm just gonna do this the easy, the easy hard way. <laughs> the sure way, I guess, is what I mean. I'm a little, little off. So, so that we've got it the right height because we're gonna have room to stick it in there, both the top and bottom. We will have room. So let's go ahead and chop this side, this top off as well. Whoops, oh, on it. Cutter's been having trouble. Um, got a little bit of paper there. Okay, so now we need to determine how wide we want it to be. And um, I think. 
think we'll just put it here and then chop it off. I'll just make some marks and I just want it to be straight. So we're going to go ahead and actually I'm going to keep that edge because I like this all this these words. We're going to go smaller than the than the envelope. Go about to here. I'm not a measurer, guys, so if you're looking for precise, you're not going to find it here. Okay, so let's get that cut here. Alrighty. So let's see where we're at with fitting this in. Nice big journal card. Oh, I love that. Love that. <clears throat> I almost just like it like that. Even though there's nothing special inside of the window, it kind of just looks like it's part of the envelope, which I kind of like. Um, we're going to have to make the top. I wonder if I should just leave it as a journal tag because um, I'm not going to have much room to make a corner. And I'm concerned about uh, wrecking it by cutting too much of a corner on it. So um, let me think just a second about this. So if this goes up here, then, um, yeah, I do have corners. So let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and make an actual tag out of it. So I'm going to grab an actual tag though, because I really, I always get these wrong and I don't want to. So let me grab a pre-made tag here really quick. Again, thanks for your patience. I forgot to pull this out earlier. I meant to do that. Ah. <laughs> you know, of course it's going to be the bottom container, you know. Seems like that's always the way it goes. So I'm thinking um, just pulling out my blank tags here from my stash. I don't think that's a big enough a big enough edge though. Let me see if there's something bigger in here. Maybe I'll just get one of my pre-mades that I've already done. Oh lord. Um, hang on guys. It's not really. Theory is not working here. I've got this one too which I guess will work because I don't need to use this curvy part so we're just gonna we're gonna go with this. That should be fine. Just gonna cut a tag shape here. And then a tag shape over here. Just lining it up with this edge, obviously. Because then I can kind of put something at the top of it and make it a little bit more decorative. I love that. I love that because this is great, huge journaling space. This is all journaling. So um, I am going to sew it though. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch around this and I'll be back with you just in a moment. Okay, I went ahead and stitched around this. I just alternated between straight stitch and zigzag. I'm still actually learning how to do that. But what I love about it is on the back of a card like this, I think it looks really, really cute. So I'm super glad that I did that. It adds just a little bit of interest to your projects when you can do that. Um, but you can certainly just, um, you, you don't have to do that if you don't have a sewing machine or don't aren't comfortable with that. It's perfectly fine. Got some spots on here. Let's see if I can get them off. There we go. So I'm loving this and um, I'm just going to slide that in there and yeah, I love it. It's simple, but I am concerned about this little spot because I've got some, I've got some white showing here. So I'm going to see if I can get in there and just get some ink in there to disguise that. That works a lot better. <laughs> now it's really dark, but that's okay. I'm going to get a baby wipe and see if I can get a little bit of that off of the window. Because I see I did get some ink on there. There we go. 
Awesome. Okay. So now the question is, do we want anything else on it or are we happy with it like this? I think I want to decorate it just a little bit because that's kind of what I do. So we're going to use some of the scraps here. Um, or actually, um, I used all my scraps because the rest of them are on. Oh, no, here's some. So we're going to go ahead and just tear this roughly, create a little bit of a, of a cluster here just to create some interest. This is not going to go straight on that because obviously it's not going to show up. So I'm going to grab a little bit of um, some scraps from my scrap bin here and get some, maybe get some music page and some coffee dyed paper maybe or something like that or book page. Oh, I like that. Yes, yes, let us hope. God is very merciful. I love that. Love how that happens sometimes. Okay, so I do need a piece of coffee dyed paper though just to create a base that's um, gonna break up that the color. I'm gonna go ahead and ink around everything here. find just a little bit of something to embellish this with. You don't have to do this obviously I just like it. Um, I just love the cluster look as you've probably heard me say a gazillion times. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just ink all the edges here. It'd be nice if I could keep the ink on the edges but I'm not doing so hot with that today. There we go. <laughs> oh, I love that. I never get tired of that. And then we'll ink this up too. Oh, we were going to fold that up, weren't we? Now we're not going to be able to. I completely didn't do this like I planned. <laughs> oh, I, I hope it's not too long for a journal. Let's measure. Oh, well, it's eight, so it's going to have to go in a pretty good sized journal. My intention, if you remember, was to fold this up, and that didn't happen. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It is okay. I'm going to use this too. Does that ever happen to you? Like you get something in your mind about how you're going to do something, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, that is not what I had in my mind happens to me routinely, especially if I didn't previously plan it out, which I didn't plan this one out. I just was sitting here going, what am I going to do? Got two, two um, videos in the, in the wings that are scheduled to post and I didn't have, I had, didn't have a plan for another video yet. We're going to be gone for the weekend coming up. So I wanted to have some some more going so that when I get back I don't have to kind of hit don't feel like I have to hit the the ground running with more creating and videos even though I probably will because that's what I do but it's nice to not feel like I have to I'm loving that people are really seem seeming to enjoy what I'm creating that really blesses me the channel is growing. So let's go ahead and put this one on. And it's got words, so we want to make sure the words are going the right way. Something like that. And this. Not sure what we're going to put on top. Maybe I've got a rose that I can grab from my my stash here. So let me just grab my little basket. They're fussy cut flowers. We might be able to find one that's um, a good size and a good match for this. So I don't want anything too big. That's really orange. That's kind of pretty. Really big though, that can't go there. We need little, 
what I'm thinking. Something sort of smaller. This would probably be okay. Yeah, that would work. I'm going to ink it really quick though. And I always print these out on um, a heavier weight paper. Like I think this is, these are all printed on 60 pound paper because I really struggle to fussy cut them out if they're on that really like thin copy paper. It is just, it steals all my joy. Um, I've grown to love fussy cutting, but not when it, the paper is super flimsy. And then getting the, all the white to go away is also not my favorite thing. But that's, that's really pretty. I like that. So we'll put that here. I like that. I think we want a little bit of cheesecloth though. Let me grab a piece from my, my bin here. So I think this is often really a nice added element. I think we're only going to do one of these for this video because this is kind of getting long. <clears throat> we'll do another one though. flower on there. Yeah, I like that. I like to put the cheesecloth down with just a little bit of glue from the glue stick um, because the wet glue is really hard to get it to adhere to the cheesecloth. And then when we glue the um, the flower on with Fabri-Tac, it'll, um, it'll help to make that more solid. So I didn't turn this over, so I've got to wait for it to get to the tip here. So my commitment to you, even as I'm sitting here thinking, is I will post this video no matter how messy it seems or how crazy it's going to sound to me when I listen back and edit. <laughs> I commit to posting it. So there we go. So I think that is it. Um, I, I'm wondering if we should put anything on the envelope. Um, not really sure. I kind of just like it like it is because it's nice to be able to put things like when you actually put this in a in a in your journal to be able to decide at that point what kind of message you want to have on your page. And right now I'm just creating ephemera in general, so I don't know where this is actually going to land. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just leave it blank and um, and and just be good with that. So let me just slide this in just for one final time to get a get an idea of what it looks like. Oh, I love it. So there we go, guys. On the fly envelope, mailing envelope use. Um, and then obviously I would also um, back this um, in some way, depending on how I use it. So if I were to put, have it be a floating, kind of a floating pocket in a journal, I would um, not, I would need to make sure that I back it. But if I were to glue it down, I wouldn't need to put anything on the back. So again, I'm not going to do anything there. What I did notice that I'm not liking is all this white that I'm seeing here. So let's see if we can get a little bit of ink in here and at least give it a little bit of color so it doesn't look so stark. The underneath side here isn't gonna really matter, but this side is bothering me. So just giving it a little ink and there we go. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching and for bearing with me as I stumble through this. I feel like I'm, I'm pretty off today. Um, it's the first video of the day and, and I'm a little, um, little off. So thanks so much for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.